Hey, what's up guys? Gian here of Gadget Pilipinas. Welcome back to the channel. Maraming salamat sa mga nanood ng aming previous episodes. This is the sixth episode of our Stream Smart series. In our previous episode, we talked about how you can stream your Nintendo Switch games. And if you want to revisit that episode, links are in the description down below along with the other previous episodes of this series. Now, this episode is a little special because we'll be talking about something that will allow you to level up your stream better. Last episodes, we talked about Gamecaster. This time, we'll talk about XSplit Broadcaster. So what is XSplit Broadcaster? XSplit Broadcaster is also a streaming platform like uh, XSplit Gamecaster. XSplit Gamecaster is positioned for gaming, but in the case of uh, Broadcaster, this is for those who want to stream beyond games. Ito yung mga ginagamit ng mga professional streamers and even organizations that uh, require them to broadcast something. And uh, honestly, in my case, I've been using this in our previous episodes of HQ Tech Sessions where we interview a lot of brands. It's been helping us uh, uh, really greatly um, in our business, in uh, our service, and everything that we do in our organization. And tanong, is it free? Yes, there's a free version of Esprit Broadcaster with uh, features and also some restrictions, but there's also a premium version of it. You can select among subscription durations if you want to, up to lifetime. Uh, we have a 10% uh, discount code. It is not flash on screen. Uh, and uh, if you wish to avail of it, you can make use of our 10% discount, as I mentioned. It, in a way, we get a bit of commission from it. It's also one way of you supporting the channel. Now, the question remains, kailangan mo ba ng XSplit broadcaster? That would depend actually on what you do. But Para at least matuluhan kayo to decide on that matter, let me give you the key differences between XSplit Gamecaster and XSplit Broadcaster. Now, the difference can immediately be seen when you fire up these applications. If you take a look at XSplit uh, Gamecaster, you will notice that this one is really designed to get you streaming as quickly as possible. Now, in the case of Broadcaster, you will know that it's a more advanced software because it offers a ton of uh, other features. And I will not be surprised if you find the broadcaster a little more confusing at first and more complicated because uh, it's really meant to be used for other things than gaming. However, let me tell you that uh, Expert Broadcaster is really a more powerful tool compared to Gamecaster. Um, but again, if you're just really going to stream your games, um, then I might as well just go for Gamecaster. But if you want to do more than gaming, then Esprit Broadcaster is uh, the way to go. Now, there are some features that can be quickly accessed in Gamecaster, such as uh, the in-game HUD. Well, that one is also available in Broadcaster, but you have to enable that in hotkeys for you to see it. And also for Gamecaster, there's also chats and social integration and a lot more which are all available from the get-go. There's no need for you to install other plugins. Um, everything's there. However, that is also the point where you'll see some limitations of the Gamecaster because that one offers only a handful of plugins available and pre-installed themes and applications. Broadcaster, on the other hand, has its own plugin store kung saan pwede ka mag-install ng mga plugins that will extend the uh, functionality of the software beyond uh, the default. Now, just like uh, XSplit Gamecaster users, accessible then para sa mga broadcaster users yung uh, free video editor of uh, Split Media Labs. Now, like Gamecaster, Broadcaster also has uh, support for Stinger transitions. Ito yung mga nakikita mo na parang uh, nagbabago splash screen when you switch from one layout to another. Which, to be honest with you, uh, adds a lot of uh, production value for your streams. Now, in terms of key differences, uh, scenes or layouts in Gamecaster are shown in small preview boxes, while uh, each scene in Broadcaster is uh, shown on the right side as buttons that you can easily press whenever you need to switch from one scene to another. You can also assign hotkeys, so if you wish to switch from one layout to another, it will just simply be one button or two buttons, however you want to do it. Now, you can also set different audio tracks or video tracks per layouts. And this is just actually one of the features you can do with Expert Broadcaster, not to mention the ability to even edit and uh, further enhance your videos uh, per layout. It will actually take a lot of time for me to explain everything, but uh, one way for you to really explore further is to go and check out 
XSplit Broadcaster, play around with the free version and if you've decided to really up your ante um, and also improve your stream with higher resolution, then you might as well go premium with XSplit Broadcaster. The free version uh, is uh, maybe limiting you to 720p, but that should be good enough for you to play around with all the features that uh, is available with the platform. Apart from that, there is access to plugins, unlimited sources, uh, replay features. However, if in case you just really want to simply stream your games, then you can settle with the XSplit Gamecaster. It is free and also features available for you. Now, since uh, we love you so much, as I mentioned earlier, we have a 10% discount. It's uh, XSplit XGP. You can go and check it out in the description below if you wish to get 10% discount, as I mentioned, there's also a link there. You will help the channel if you do so. That's it for our Stream Smart series, guys. So six episodes, loads of fun for us to produce. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, learned from everything that we produced so far. Um, we encourage you to uh, subscribe to the page and uh, click that notification bell. We're also giving away something for the month of May. This is a Realme C3. This is open for all residents in the Philippines. Again, this has been Gian, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye!